In Portsmouth, letters will start going out next week telling eligible welfare recipients that they must register for the new employment services program, more commonly known as Workfare. Only those people getting aid to dependent children are required to register, and there are some exemptions. Assistant Director of Program Services Lula Holland will supervise the process. She says it's not what most people think. Most people are concerned because they feel as though we have a caseload of 3,100 persons. They think the entire 3,100 persons are going to be placed in a work site, and we cannot place that many people because we know there will be many people who will not be eligible. But we estimate about 286, perhaps, in the work site situation. The jobs will be public ones with the city or with nonprofit organizations, tasks such as clerical work, typing, and maintenance. Staff members will also help skilled welfare recipients find jobs on their own and assist others with training and education. Holland says it will be up to the city now to welcome those who are placed in jobs. We are anticipating doing that through our city manager or his assistants in helping us to notify those organizations within the city to make them to be receptive to be able to take the individuals into their organizations and let them do tasks that they can perform. It'll take about six months to get an idea of how workfare is working, but it'll be at least a year before any real prognosis can be made. In Portsmouth, Cynthia Smooth, The Daily News.